here on the range today with my buddy Ken Hackathorn, and uh, we're going to talk about the brand new Beretta Centurion Tactical. Ken, got a got a new product here. This is actually just a prototype, um, but uh, it's representative of what the production product's going to be. Um, basically, it's it's uh, correct spec except for. Uh, you know, you've developed that really good site for Ameriglow, the kind of the hackathorn one, site. One with the fluorescent orange circle and a tritium dot. Yep. Yeah. It'll have that side uh -huh. on side on the front. Excellent. Um, the other thing that's different, this particular one isn't a G model, it's, so I've got a low profile uh, decocker on it, but it'll come with a, the G series amb ambidextrous decockers. Excellent. So, and the other thing, it'll have another slot on the rail here so you can put the compact lights where they're supposed to be. Yep. Other than that, this gun is final spec. Um, kind of the features we got on, I want to go over it and then get your get your feedback on what you think about what we come up with. Uh, one of the big things with the bread, a lot of people with the smaller hands, you know, they they you know say it's a little bit too thick for them. I mean, I don't have big hands, but I typically wear you know small size gloves. I've never had that issue, but on this particular gun, we went uh, to VZ and they've made us the thinnest grips that can possibly be be made and still be structurally sound on the Beretta. So we've got a real uh, thin feel to it. Uh, got rid of that ugly trigger guard. It's going to have a round trigger guard like the Brig Tac. Uh, basically the frame, with exception of the grips and the and the mag guide on the bottom, uh, is the same as the Brig Tac, as the current production Brig Tac. Top end though is totally different. It's, it's a Centurion link slide and it's basically a Vertec Centurion slide. It's basically okay. what we got. We got the removable front sight. Well, I caught the fact the dovetail front sight. That's a big deal for yep. me. We've got a got a dovetail front sight. Uh, the vertex shape to the to the slide. Uh, it's got a stainless match grade barrel. You know, it's got the the elite style hammer on it. It's got the aggressive checkering so you can hang on to the thing. It's got one of our uh, guide rods. You know, steel guide rods in it. Look it over and see what you think. Cool. Well, you know, one of the things I like. And, and when you first showed it to me, in, in essence, what it said to me was, here's a commander version of the Beretta. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember when you first brought out here a few years ago, the, the Beretta 92 Wilson Combat Tactical, that that gun was just total success. I mean, for the price, the features, the guns were a home run. I think it's still a pretty popular seller for you. And when you and I discussed, you know, Larry Vickers and I both are big fans of the Centurion Length Pistol. We've always liked it. To me, the gun just looks more balanced as far as configuration. And if I remember correctly, the Centurion barrel is what, about a half an inch shorter than a standard Breton 92 barrel? Yeah, basically. Yes. So basically, you got a gun that's a commander version. Um, I like them, to me. And when I found out that this was the direction you were going, I mean, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I said, I'm going to get one of those because this is my favorite configuration. And the real plus is, unfortunately, in the old Centurions, which I've got one I probably got 20 years ago when they were first offered by Beretta, has got, like all of them back then, it has the fixed front sights, so you can't do anything about changing sights or tritium, or it was a real problem. Uh, so this is a home run. Uh, obviously, the rail frame. People tell me, well, I don't like the rail frame. I do, and I'll tell you why. When I'm traveling or whatever, if I want a, what I call a bedside gun, mm -hmm. man, I don't normally carry a gun with a, with a light on it, but boy, it, for a home gun, or for when you go, you know, you get ready to go, go to bed in your hotel room or motel room, it's awful nice to slide that light on when you lay it on a nightstand. That's the same thing I do. I love it. Um, I know there's a couple features about this version. Besides having the checkering, so you've got a good, firm gripping surface, you've got a little bit more on this version, a little bit more of an undercut right here, which again minimizes trigger reach. Um, one thing I noticed you did on your first version, the full size tactical, is you've got the oversized extended magazine release. And again, for people with smaller hands, it makes it easier to get rid of the mag, to dump the mag. Even as big as my hand, my thumb can be right on it, but even that, it makes it easier, I must admit. Um, since you put that on my first gun, I've been kind of addicted to it. Um, Feature-wise, obviously, I'm a big fan of the U-notch sight. We talked mm -hmm. about that before. And the approach you went on the sight on this gun, I really liked it. I, I can only imagine with that Ameriglow fluorescent orange front sight and this U-notch, it's got to be a real fast combo. Yep. Um, I, I'm going to guess that you're going to offer probably one of the options, maybe one of the only ones will be 
if if you want it, is a trigger job done by Wilson Combat. Is that going to be the case? That's pretty much the only, yeah. only option to be. It's going to be full featured, other than if you yeah, want you don't it. need anything. I, I'll be honest with you. When I got the original uh, Wilson Brigadier tactical model from you, mm -hmm. and I did say, "Hey, go ahead and do the trigger job." Holy cow, that spoils you. <laughs> and I assure you, when I get one of these. It, that's, I'm going to say, Bill, do, have your boys do the trigger job because that makes this gun really shootable. As is with the D mainspring, they're actually pretty nice. Yeah. But I, I'm, listen, I, I'm probably, the only two guns that you've done recently that probably really got my, me going, of course, is the X9, which we'll be talking about mm -hmm. later. I think that is probably one of the biggest trendsetters or changes in the pistol market in a long time, as far as I'm concerned. This thing is going to be a home run. Let me ask them. I noticed this looks like to me it's what a 17 round mag. Is that what it's going to come with? Uh, the guns are going to ship with two 17 round and a 20 round mag. Whoa. So you That's talk about your bedside gun. I mean, put it on your bedside with a white light and a 20 round stick in it. I mean, yeah. you, you know, you got some pretty pretty serious firepower there. Yeah, you can be a really bad shot and get by. <laughs> well, this is a cool gun. Like I say, I think again another exclusive from Wilson Combat. I noticed it's got your logo on it. I guess one of the questions a lot of people ask is that a lot of people assume that you guys build these guns, but if I understand it, you send the Wilson combat parts to Breda. Yeah, we, we send the uh, guide rod and the rear side and the, the, the mag guide and, and uh, we basically set the specs on the gun. You know, we, we call for tighter tolerance on the slide to frame fit, better, better barrel lockup fit, better cosmetics. It's, it's basically a, a deluxe. Yeah you know, bread of product. I know from my experience in class and stuff that seeing people shooting the, the uh, Wilson Beretta uh, 92s, most everybody brags about they really do shoot well. And it's, mm -hmm. I think part of it is it's got that better fit, better barrel lockup. Yeah. Um, and it's been my experience, and we're both pretty good buddies with Ernie Langdon, that the stainless steel Beretta barrels historically are better shooting than this the carbon steel barrels. Yeah, the, the, they got a little bit better bore quality and then it's got the recessed target crown. Oh yeah. You know, which... Well, I guess the question is, um, I'm kind of dying to put some rounds through this. All Any right, chance well, why, I can shoot it and see what it's like? Why don't you, we got, we got a couple targets set up. Why don't you uh, try the thing out? Good, let's give it a try. Well, after live fire, what do you think about it, Ken? Well, I'll tell you. Combined all the features you guys have designed into this gun, I think you got a winner here. Target kind of tells the tale. And to be honest with you, compared to the full size, control-wise, recoil, I, I couldn't tell much difference. I got to have one of these. Good deal.